So as they desperately work to get Trump off the ballot, they're also working on another contingency plan. Is this plan B, C, or D? I've lost track. Making sure that he's in court long enough that he basically won't be able to campaign. Now, the judge in Trump's January 6th case just set a trial date, as I said earlier, of March 4th, 2024. Well, if that day sounds kind of familiar, it's because it's the same day the Georgia DA, Fannie Willis, wanted. So she got what she wanted. Now, why is that day so critical? It seems like it's in high demand. Is there anything else happening around the same time? Uh, let me think. Oh, yeah, Super Tuesday <laughs> is the next day. But that judge uh, apparently thinks that doesn't matter. Uh, Trump just to, needs to have to make it work. When you have a court date, when you're in the justice system, that takes precedence over other things. Your dry cleaning pickup that day, your professional networking commitments, your job. She's saying when you're in the justice system, that comes first. Right, picking up your dry cleaning, just same as a presidential election. Joining us now, Victor Davis Hanson, Hoover Institution senior fellow. Victor, um, by any means necessary, they want him out. They wanted to not allow him to win in 2016, but before he even wins the nomination, which, you know, if you know, we don't, anything can happen, I guess, but right now you'd say odds are uh, huge that he'll win it. Then they want to make sure that he can't campaign, and then they want to make sure that even if he wins, he still won't be president. Do you see a pattern here of what's happening with this, this crowd? Yeah, I think the subtext is what they're not talking about. And so they feel they have no other choice for three reasons. One, they can't run on Joe Biden's agenda, not on the border, not on crime, not on the economy, not on energy, not on anything. And two, Joe Biden is one trip away from oblivion. He's one silly remark away from oblivion. He's failing geometrically at a geometric way. And whether he even finishes his term, they're unsure. And then third, to use that left's phrase, that walls are closing in. It's not just uh, Archer and Bobolinsky or the IRS whistleblowers. It's Victor Shokin. It's uh, some oligarchs that say they have tapes. There's the Hunter laptop that's being reexamined for where he admits he gave half his income to Joe. And so they don't want to talk about any of those three things. So it's Trump all the time. And when you look at Latita James has a $250 million lawsuit against Trump on this sort of bogus idea of overinflating real estate. And then you look at Alvin Bra uh, Bragg, and then you look at Jack Smith and Fannie Willis, and you look at all the dates that they're talking about, and you superimpose them on a calendar. And you could envision these 91 indictments plus the civil suits, and there's another civil suit as well. It might be almost three or four days a week all the way to election. And it really shows you that they're paranoid. And they don't have any confidence in a positive message or a positive, vibrant candidate. And so it's to get Donald Trump, fixate on Donald Trump or whoever would get the nomination. Now, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think they even have any pretense anymore, Laura, of saying Joe had a campaign. very successful. Yeah, there's uh, no campaign. They're no, not they going to campaign. It. No, not going to campaign. He's not no. going to campaign. He's not going to debate. He's not going to really ever do a hard interview with anyone. He can't. We all know that. The press is going to campaign no, for him, and it's going to be Trump trial 24-7. Uh, Victor, my question to you is, will this just, over time, will it wear on the Republican electorate or harden their support for Trump as the persecuted yeah. representative of the people? That, that we I don't think anybody knows because we've never been in these waters before. But right now, it's obviously gaining them empathy because of the sheer injustice of it. But we don't know what it will be like if, for the wearied electorate in three or four months, or if I get another candidate might say, I'm, I'm going to be more effective in paying these people back or reforming the DOJ on behalf of Trump than Trump can. Because we don't know the what these limitations are. He's like a He's like Gulliver with all these little pucians that got these strings, ropes tying him down. We don't know the effect on the voter who wants to help him, but may not be able to. And so, and we don't know how far, whether we get tired of it or whether we get angry with it. Right now, it's pretty clear people are angry and they're showing empathy, but I don't know what they're going to be doing in September, October, November. We can yeah. go on and on and on. Well, they're banking on, they're and banking that I don't that think the wears... Democrats themselves have any yeah. idea what they're doing as far as 
public opinion. They don't really no. care. They're just obsessed and fixated on Donald Trump. Yeah, and they do the not wall. want to talk about this failed presidency, no. this failing, cognitively failing president. Ukraine. And pretty Ukraine's much failing. one of the most <laughs> corrupt political families in presidential history. They can't no. talk about any of those three things. Now, Victor, there's another interesting thing that we mentioned this uh, maybe two or three weeks ago about Judge Tanya Chutkin, but it bears repeating that she worked at the law firm Boy Schiller Flexner from 2002 until she was confirmed to the bench in 2014. Now, Boy Schiller has strong connections to the Democrats, to Hunter Biden. He was, um, he was of counsel at the firm from 2009 to 2014. Um, this is all just a coincidence, I'm sure. Yeah, why of these four prosecutors, why aren't any of them rhinos or independents or Republicans? Why isn't there somebody in Utah or West Virginia? There, it's not. Fannie Willis probably wants to be governor. She's a hard leftist. She's, taught, she's been you bragging bet. about uh, going after Trump. Ditto the same thing with Bragg. Letita James, ditto. Jack Smith has members of his family that have involvement with the Obamas. So they all are conflicted, but they don't make any pretense. They don't care. It's almost as if they're saying to the American people, this is the way it is. Yes, we're biased, but it's Trump. And what are you going to do about it? Yeah, it's your almost vote doesn't a dare matter. to people. And I've never seen yeah. any, anything so audacious. It's, it's beyond yeah. parody. I think that they, they want people to think it, it, it's pointless to fight back, to vote, to anything, to, to object, or to say you're not going to comply. It's just it's, it's pointless. And they want to demoralize people. And I think Americans have to just decide for themselves, do they want a country or not? Victor, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.